My thought or reflection for today is basically this. In this country, it is simply easier to be white. Life is easier. There are fewer barriers because we are the normative color. We are the normative, we are the standard, if you will, by which other things are measured. Whiteness is the standard in the country. Even though we say, come wherever you are, whatever color, race, creed, whatever it is, come, come to the great melting pot. We welcome everyone. That's, that's true, but we still, we welcome you. But this is by what you will be measured. This is the standard, whiteness. It's just easier. A few years back, I was at an anti-racism training in our diocese, in which we are supposed to participate. And I'm, I'm there, and in one of the, the sessions, when we're discussing the white and black experience what we had growing up in our country and communities, we're sharing freely. And, and sometimes I say things I shouldn't say. I just say what's on my heart and mind. And sometimes I get my tail kicked for it. I just raise my hands. Well, I, I'm going to say this. It might be rude and insensitive and offensive, but I'm just going to say it. As you can tell, well, I'm a white guy. And I would not take a million dollars to be black. And I was sitting next to a black clergy person in the diocese, and they're going, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. I get it. I said, because the reality is, it's just easier to be white. It just is. I mean, the system is set up for, for white folks, and, and I don't have to think about being white. I'm not questioning, I don't have to think about that. But if you're black, you're constantly reminded in one way or another of your blackness, of your otherness, constantly. I mean, I just go wherever I want to go. I can go in any hotel in New York City, any fancy, whatever, anywhere. No one ever questions. No one ever says, excuse me, sir, are you staying at the hotel? No one ever questions me. I can walk in private clubs of which I'm not a member. No one ever says, excuse me, sir, are you a member here? Why are you here? No, they just look at me and go, oh, we don't know him, but maybe he's a new member. He looks like he, looks like he belongs here. I never have to think about that. Encounters in shops and with clerks and people being pulled over by the police. My experience is very, very different than my black friends, colleagues. Their experience has been very different. No one's ever followed me in a store to see what I might be slipping in my pocket, assuming I would slip something in my pocket, assuming I was there to steal something. No one's ever done that to me. No one's ever chipped me, assuming that I was one of the baggage men at the airport. I was going to a clergy conference. We all met. We were supposed to meet our van to take us to the retreat center. So the clergy were waiting, and, and some of us were together. Others were together. We got to the van. We're, we're putting our bags in the back of the van. A colleague, African-American colleague, picked up a couple of suitcases and put them in the back of the van, not his. And another clergy person, white, reached, went over and tipped him, assuming, of course, he was the van driver couldn't be a colleague going to the conference. That's never, ever happened to me. I used to tell my kids, you know, you don't have to think about being a white. We're just, we're just white, gang. I now tell them, listen, kids, you have to think every day about your whiteness. We talk about it all the time. I want you to think about what it means to be white in this country or what it means to be not white in this country. And the things that are offered to you the barriers that are not there for you, the ease at which you can navigate and maneuver through this country simply because of your whiteness. The assumptions that are made simply because of your whiteness. We have to think about our whiteness and what it means to be white and what it means not to be white because it is harder not to be white. There are barriers there when you're not white. There are assumptions there when you're not white. There are all kinds of things that make life harder if you're not white. So I'm just asking my white sisters and brothers to have a keen awareness of their whiteness and of what that means in this country and of some of the things that we just simply take for granted because we are white. You cannot take for granted. You cannot assume if you're not. And it's just easier to be white. And that is not right. Peace and blessings on the way.